Hello, just a quick thing before this uh, tutorial video starts. Um, I have a song coming out called Lo-Fi German Disco under my uh, old ego ankles. Um, next Friday, no, this Friday, the 12th, the 12th of February. Um, it's a fun song. It's got a guitar riff that's only one note. Everyone likes those. It's got a groove, which someone said was a groove when I posted a clip on Instagram. So, I mean, it's a groove. And uh, it's got me singing on it and doing all the other stuff as well. And it's actually good. Like, it is, like, it's actually good. Like, seriously. Set it ablaze. Don't see the action. Sing out of praise. Oh. You should listen to it. Anyway, here's a tutorial. Um, yeah, basically I've been putting some music up on Spotify for like the first time in my life within the last like year. And having just had a bit of an issue with a new track that I've been putting up, I thought it would be good if someone put up a guide. So you kind of knew what you were looking at when you got into things like Spotify for artists, um, depending on who you use for like distribution as well. Just a lot of questions and I wish I'd seen what everything looked like and how to use everything kind of before I just delved in and tried to get everything done basically. But um, so that's what I'm gonna do today. Try and be helpful. So let me actually just record my screen. Also uh, my computer is over here. So you're gonna be getting a lot of side profiles so Maybe like this bit of my face because it's all you're gonna see. Okay then. Okay, so to start with, let's go to Spotify for artists. This is just gonna be about Spotify um, because that's the one I really care about, to be honest. I know people use Apple Music and things like that and maybe Amazon Music, but I've never actually known anyone use Amazon Music um, or pretty much any of the others. Um, so I'm just gonna look at the Spotify page because that's the only one I uh, really care about. So, um, yeah, this is what it looks like, basically. Wow, there are two people listening to Ankles right now. That's pretty exciting. So yeah, this is the homepage. Uh, you can do things here like pitch your song to editors. Um, they've got guides on how to help you with things, um, like promote your music, uh, get your song in movie or TV. Uh, it's worth having a read. A lot of the information is actually really good. Um, it's also got things, um, about like, you know, statistics and all of that. So, has your music listed what you've uh, released? Um, it's pretty straightforward, that's kind of what you'd expect. But the interesting part that I wish I'd kind of known about is this. So, this is how you edit your artist page on Spotify. And it's a really good thing to know about this because if you're making your own assets, which I'm assuming like most people who are self-releasing things probably are, um, you want to know about sizes for banners, you want to know about artwork specification. You want to know, be able to arrange the page to make sure that when people are going on there, it looks like what you want it to look like. Um, yeah, so this is basically what it what it looks like. So it, it's basically a um, replica of how it would look in Spotify, either in the app or the web player or your phone or whatever you use. Um, apart from, you've got little edit buttons everywhere. So there you go, you can edit your header and we've got some specifications so I'm not going to read them all out if you want to like know the specifications just stop the video screenshot and read that I suppose um, right let me cancel that sorry I'm like looking around my life is really in the way um, yeah what else oh yeah an about section this is where you put images you can just e edit your bio directly into here and you know exactly what it'll look like there's no um, kind of like text boxes or anything like that to do your links links to Instagram Twitter Facebook whatever you need um, yeah, you can have concert information there as well, but especially you can see kind of what your artwork's gonna look like when it's up there. Um, and this is basically the whole page. Um, so, that's just a really, really, really quick basic overview um, of Spotify for artists. But when you're first trying to put something on there, on Spotify, you can't access this page. So, it's good to be able to have a look and know what all this looks like before you, before you get there. But in order to get your music on there, you need to use some kind of online distributor. So um, I'm going to talk you through DistroKid, 
um, just because that's what I used. Um, I tried to use TuneCore to start with, but it sucked, basically, and it didn't work for me, and I didn't like the experience, I didn't like the interfaces of it all, um, I came into loads of problems with it, so I just bailed, asked a friend what they used, and went through DistroKid. So if I go to, that should probably take me to my login. It will indeed. Oh look, new single, really exciting. Um, so, you have to sign up for this. It does take cost money. Um, I think you can do it like as a yearly plan or you can do it for one release or whatever you need, an album, a single, whatever you're working with, whatever you have written. Um, yeah, so if I take you through the upload process, because again, it's just nice to know, if you, especially if you're mastering your own music and things like that, what the specifications are. So, this is what the upload page of DistroKid looks like. It's really, it's one page, it's really easy to do. But actually recently I had an issue with them um, where they messed something up. But I got in contact with Spotify and the guy emailed me back in like 20 minutes and sorted it out and it's really good. So you know who you are, Spotify employee. You freaking nailed it. Oh, anyway, we have all the services that um, you can get it put on. I mean. It gets a bit ropey, past like Spotify. Yeah, love Spotify. Apple Music, great, yeah. Apple Music, I've heard people use that. iTunes, a classic. Instagram and Facebook, sure. TikTok, sure. Um, Rezo, don't know. Google Play and YouTube Music, like, I mean, come on, is, is anyone actually using those, like, ever? Um, Amazon Music, I think my dad uses that. Uh, Pandora, Deezer, Tidal, I mean, yeah, sure, Tidal. Um, NetEase. Trilla, Savan, iHeartRadio. Anyway, got worked up. There's loads, but click them all because it's the same price either way. Um, yeah, so you want to click whether you're doing a 35 song album, which seems ridiculous, or you're doing one song. Um, you want to basically just choose what you're doing. This should be self explanatory. Maybe I can move on from here. Um, yeah, so. Important things are artist name. Don't mess around with this. Type your artist name, otherwise it will get attributed to another artist, and that actually did happen to a friend of mine. So be vigilant with that. Um, if you have not already, if this is your first release, you, you won't already be an artist in Spotify or Apple Music. So this won't say this, but this is my second release. So there we go. Um, so you can set a release date. So this is important actually. For your first release, I think they recommend that you at least put your release date four weeks in advance because this allows a lot of time for basically like troubleshooting and uh, you know your music being attributed to someone else who has the same name on Spotify possibly or setting up your artist profile, you to claim your artist profile which we're going to after this so um, that's really important so if you are thinking of releasing something plan ahead because uh, when I get excited about putting out some music and then I think oh actually I've got to wait like four weeks to put that up that's super annoying and I don't like that. Um, but you can set a release date and you can plan your you know, promotion and everything around that. So type in a record label, make one up for yourself if you like, that's what I did. Um, and then we've got artwork. So this will automatically, you don't have to upload it on Spotify, on Apple Music individually, it will go from here. Um, important things to note here is it's a square, clearly. Um, it's recommended it's 3000 by 3000 pixels. Um, if you think that's, I don't know what you, if you're making your own assets or not, but um, if you are, there you go, that's what it needs to be. Um, and if they will reject crap artwork um, if it's like um, blurry or pixelated or I don't know, just bad. Um, it will get taken down and it won't get accepted and you have to redo this whole process again, which is really annoying. Um, but at the same time, just do good artwork, do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so pretty self explanatory. Also, don't put pricing on there. <laughs> don't write like $4.99 in the corner or something like that because it will also get rejected. Don't know why you would do that, but it's pretty explicit about that. Um, language, genres, you get to pick your genres, um, which is fun, so don't lie because, well, otherwise no one will find it. Um, and then, yeah, this is all metadata stuff. So title, um, songwriter, music and lyrics, blah, blah, blah. Um, it just all gets attributed to you or if you've written the, um, song with other people, um, put them in here basically um, and they'll get attributed to it and they'll get their name on Spotify and then all their friends will like them more. So 
Basically, you just click through all these options. Uh, you can choose how much it costs. I mean, I went 69p because lol. Um, and that's pretty much it, really. It's pretty self-explanatory. If there's any problems, they email you and get in contact with you and you just have to go through the process and just kind of rectify things. But I think it's just quite nice to like, see this screen and kind of know what you're coming up against before you're releasing things. Also, if you're not sure how to release your own music or if you want to, because it seems too difficult, this is all it is, you know? It just takes a bit of the fear away. Possibly, maybe not. Maybe you like the fear, maybe you live for the fear. Who knows? You do you, man. So, once you've done all this process, then you will be able to claim your Spotify artist profile. Basically, that involves just going to, if I can log out, can I log out? Yeah. Get access, there we go, let's do that. You're an artist. So once it's gone through from your distributor, oh, I'll blur my details. Um, you have to log into Spotify, probably have a Spotify account or sign up for Spotify. And then you just have to claim your uh, account by typing in your artist name and saying, this is me, basically. Um, and there'll be a verification process. The verification process involves you having some social media presence with that name already and the same email address that you used to sign up. So that's pretty key. Um, although I had a Twitter that had I just set up for that reason, just to get it verified, and an Instagram that did have the same name. And they accepted it straight away. So it's not that difficult. Um, but it's just something to kind of like keep in mind. Just it'll take two seconds. Just set up some social medias that have the same email address as your and uh, same name as what you're trying to claim. Uh, I don't want this to go on too long, really. So yeah, that's it. That's really all it is. Um, it's pretty simple and um, happy releasing stuff on the internet. Okay, right, I'll end this video there. Goodbye.